Nearly a decade ago, a man's fantasy became reality in a form never seen before, Kitchen Stadium, a giant cooking arena. The motivation for spending his fortune to create Kitchen Stadium was to encounter new original cuisines, which could be called true artistic creations. On a cuisine! To realize his dream, he started choosing the top chefs of various styles of cooking. And he named his men the Iron Chefs, the invincible men of culinary skills. Iron Chef Japanese is Roksaburo Michiba. Iron Chef French is Hiroyuki Sakai. Iron Chef Chinese is Chen Kenichi. And Masahiko Kobe is Iron Chef Italian. Kitchen Stadium is the arena where Iron Chefs await the challenges of master chefs from all over the world. Both the Iron Chef and Challenger have one hour to tackle the theme ingredient of the day, using all their senses, skills, creativity, there to prepare artistic dishes never tasted before. And if ever a Challenger wins over the Iron Chef, he or she will gain the people's ovation and fame forever. Every battle, reputations are on the line in Kitchen Stadium, where master chefs pit their artistic creations against each other. What inspiration will today's challenger bring? And how will the Iron Chef fight back? The heat will be on! If my memory serves me correctly, the biggest chef's association here in Japan goes under the name the Japanese Cuisine Seminar Group. It has quite a long tradition, established as it was in 1930, and it was founded for a particular reason. Back then, there were a few select chefs who were known for their knife work and their seasoning techniques, and the mission of this group was to preserve such intangible treasure so that younger chefs might inherit those skills. When it was formed, there were only 200 chefs, but now membership has grown to over 20,000. And? The man who is at the head of these 20,000 odd chefs is of course my very own Rokusaburo Michiba. His official title is Maestro, which is only rewarded to chefs with over 30 years of experience and outstanding reputation. This time, a man who is also certified Maestro of the Association has decided he wants to challenge my Michiba. He is the master chef of Sawadaya, Kuniyuki Ishikawa. Michiba and Ishikawa, they are both maestros and of course know each other, but their cooking philosophies are completely different. For example, Michiba is a bit of a darling of the media, while Ishikawa has always followed his belief that chefs have to stay behind the scenes. You don't have to have a big name or be treated like some kind of a star to be a great chef. And that's my belief here. So, these two are like chalk and cheese. It's going to be an interesting battle. Kuniyuki Ishikawa. He stepped into the world of cooking at the age of 15. And as young as 29, he was appointed head chef of a high-class restaurant in Yotsuya. Then, at just 45, he certified for maestro of the association. As a result, the following year, at 46, he was scouted as head chef of Sawadaya in Omori. Sawadaya has a 120-year history. It has attracted many former prime ministers and other people of high rank. As a professional, you can't say that you're good at this, but not good at that. You have to strive for perfection all of the time. Ishikawa's dishes are like works of art and the seasonal aspect of his cuisine adds to its perfection, in no way lagging behind Michiba's creations. Now, Ishikawa, step out into the light for the first time and show us your highly respected skills. I've made the decision to do this, so I'd like to get a win against Michiba-san. I think he knows more theory than I do, so I'd have to rely on my intuition. Well. Let's just do it.
And once again, our challenger today, a chef of great caliber. We are in store for what should be another fierce battle. And joining us for today, actress Ritsuko Tanaka. It's a pleasure to be here. Tanaka-san, do you do much cooking? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. You do? Yes, I'm an outdoor kind of cook. I love cooking outside when I go camping, cooking there in the oh, fresh air. <laughs> you love to cook. Mm -hmm. Somehow I thought it'd be the opposite. Really? Sorry well, there. <laughs> Thanks for coming in. I'm thrilled to be here. And if you have any questions yes. about things, uh -huh. Dr. Hattori will gladly answer them. Great, that's right. I'm the answer uh -huh. guy. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, time now to bring him on, Chairman Kaga. Kaga. <laughs> わが美食アカデミーの鉄人道場六三郎であります。そして今回その道場と同じく名誉ある師範の称号を持つ男がやってまいりました。もし私が道場と出会わずに彼と出会っていたなら今頃このパネルに収まっていたかもしれません。and entering the stadium, Michiba's equal in the seminar group. He too a maestro of Japanese cuisine, Ishikawa. Clad in traditional attire, the spotlight's on him today. Michiba o yoto suru nara, anata wa in kamo shiremasen. 華やかな料理界で裏方で黒子として徹してきたそのプライドを今日は存分に発揮してくださいそれでは例によって我が美食アカデミーが誇る三人の鉄人を登場させましょうよみがえるがいアイアンシェ Making their ascent and assuming their rightful places in Kitchen Stadium, legends in their own right, men who've laid down their knives on this battlefield of cooking. Now coming to life, your Iron Chefs. Iron Chef Chinese, Chen Kenichi. Iron Chef French, Hiroyuki Sakai. And Iron Chef Japanese, Roksaburo Michiba. Here they stand, the invincible men of culinary skills. You got it! Iron Chef Japanese Michiba. Ishikawa calling out his seminar group Maestro Pier. Roksaburo Michiba has always been adventurous, using unlikely ingredients, incorporating them into Japanese cuisine. And his aggressive approach has given rise to creative recipes that are now considered standard. But today is one of the toughest challenges he's ever faced. Kunkaiのような大物同士のぶつかり合いに下手な小細工は必要ありません。一時間という時間を粘り強く戦うのみ。そう考えたとき私はひらめいたのです。和食で粘りといえばあれしかありません。それでは発表します。今日のテーマはこれです。今日のテーマは納豆。納豆。if my memory serves me correctly, back in the Edo period, there was a saying about this ingredient that went like this. Stir it up 15 times. This means if you whisk the fermented beans some 15 times, little threads will form around them, and these enhance the flavor, it said. But if you stir more than 15 times, the threads turn into bubbles, and that spoils the delicate taste. And, of course, after stirring the beans appropriately, you add soy sauce. So, let me repeat that once again. Make sure you stir it up 15 times. 
A pair of Japanese cuisine masters, both maestros of the Biggest Chefs Association, Challenger Ishikawa normally shunning the spotlight, battling Iron Chef Michiba, 20,000 chefs, and a nation watching with Natto as the theme. Let's get it on! Out of cheesing! Bang a gong, we are on. The mm. Natto battle beginning. Wow, it's exciting. <laughs> this battle today, Natto. one maestro trying to <laughs> knock off the other. This is great. Yes, and Doc, would yeah. it be correct to say that through this battle, we'll be able to explore the depths of Japanese cuisine with Natto the theme and all? Oh, definitely. I'm so excited to be a part of this one. Mm, me too. And up at the stand, two types of Natto, which are fermented soybeans. Just scooping them up there takes up a lot of time, doesn't <laughs> yes. it? Yes, <laughs> and Tanaka-san, what dishes would you expect? No idea. I usually only eat it on steamed rice, yes. you know, with soy sauce on mm -hmm. top. Maybe they'll mix it into a dressing. A dressing? Mm. You know, sometimes at sushi bars, oh. It's um, common right. to roll them up. Mm -hmm. All right, and here he goes. Okay, hell yeah. Roksaburo Michiba, menu writing time. That's what he always mm -hmm. takes care of first before he sets out to do any cooking. Mm -hmm. And this, the first one now is, what's he drawing here? This is natto a la carte? <laughs> <laughs> Not no. quite, huh? <laughs> no. no, it says a mini full course natto dinner. Ooh, sounds great. Mini full course. But a dinner course using natto. Hey, look here. Oh, okay. Ishikawa is going to do the same thing, also uh, mm, calligraphy style. Yeah. There's no hard rule in Japanese cooking that chefs have to do this, right? No, it's not a rule, but it's kind of customary for Japanese chefs to do oh, that. Really? But it's oh, cool. actually unusual to do it when you're so pressed for time. But mm -hmm. this is very, very interesting to see both of them do that. Mm -hmm. All right, so both chefs, and there you can see Ishikawa is just a bit faster with his writing. <laughs> wow. So they haven't taken up their knives yet, just their brushes. Uh -huh, yeah. And now here is, uh, this is, I can make this abalone steamed in sake. Yeah, you're right. Okay, and there, uh, mm. whoops, could be leaking info to the other side. <laughs> Chiba, don't want to be doing that. That wouldn't be too cool. Yeah, no kidding. Anyway, Tanaka-san, um, mm -hmm. you know, I have to tell you, it's no, it's not a usual occurrence. In fact, this is the first calligraphy yeah, contest we've had. it's very cool. I love it. And how about doing this in the kitchen at home? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I might actually think about it. It's not a bad All right, idea. All right, <laughs> now here's the Iron Chef uh, menu items for the mini full course. One says confection. Confection. Yeah. Sweets okay. with natto. One, two, three. How many there? Um, okay, can't see that? the whole sheet. Yeah, let's see. It's at least three. Okay, uh, well, for a formal Japanese dinner, you'd have to have a minimum of five. Yeah, you're right. So five, okay. maybe that's what he's got All there. right. And Five dishes now, Ishikawa, and can't read it up, so, okay, there we go, and Japanese beef. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're wow, right. Wow, how decadent. Mm. So that's Japanese beef with... Natto-flavored soy yes. sauce. Yes, oh, all okay. right, <laughs> and another Michiba trademark, his renowned broth of vigor on the way. And look at the uh, load of dried bonito he's Sets got Sets out there. that way, every battle, write the menu, make the broth of vigor, and continuing to pile oh, on, like pile in the dried so bonito much. shavings. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, chopsticks should be able to stand upright in that. That's I the main key. Look that. Wow. Very simple looking it is, but he's got his own formula for that, developed that. over uh, experimentation during his career. Now over to Ishikawa he's side. rinsing the natto. Yes, rinsing In the natto. hot water, is it? Looks and like the it. reason for that? Uh, he's just trying to get rid of the sticky strings. Oh, for yeah. that, right. Okay, so the strings has <laughs> got to go. Shinichiro Ota, go ahead. You notice that the Iron Chef is planning five dishes. I've just confirmed that the Challenger has five listed on his menu as well. Oh. Okay, five on five, thanks. <laughs> Alright, it's the nat natto battle, but yeah. when Battle, basically. He's two, even Steven so far. Okay, we've got the Iron Chef filleting okay, the flatfish here. prep work here with the flatfish. Yeah, and pulling the skin off using the knife there. That's how the you other do hand. it. Yeah. Oh, okay, now look too. at this. Oh. Oh. His broth making too, and a ton <laughs> dropped in. No, he's actually maybe got a little more than Michiba there. He should come with more, what, maybe? What's the point there? Make it better? I just mm. saw him add an extra scoop, so I don't know. <laughs> All right, his mountain, but not dissolving there. <laughs> I think Michiba-san's hearing us here. He got a grin on his face there. <laughs> Knows he's one scoop he behind. He's being watched. Uh, he might be adding add some, some more later, more, yeah. though. Yeah. Not going to let Ishikawa <laughs> get the better of him in the broth department, and now apparently curing the flatfish with Kukuzan. Yep. Go ahead. 
Yeah, I just received word that the Iron Chef is about to unveil and use something interesting on this site, udon noodles. Oh, udon noodles. Okay. okay. That's right. I wonder. Chiba with some mm. udon noodles. So wow. handmade udon noodles. And they, they would be dried, though, Steamer lid lifted here. Steaming, what is this that? This is on Ishikawa's side, some fish oh, that's been steamed. What is that? Uh, sardines, I think. Okay. Steaming sardines, huh. And it appears they've gone back in the steamer. It also has uh, another fish, a tile fish, a kind of snapper on the cutting board. Now, that's the one that's normally steamed in Japanese cooking. Cooking. Okay, both sides, a good pace going now, and here, Michiba, some natto in the food processor. Yep. In the food processor. Right. Oh, wow. Fukuzan? Take it. Yeah, I asked Michiba-san what he thinks about the challenger, who, to my eyes at least, so far has mirrored the Iron Chef in many ways, and he said, well, he chose me, so I guess he's done his homework studying me, studying my style, but then he added, but he didn't learn everything because I wish he'd learn how to smile more. Back to you. <laughs> learn how to smile. I love it. All right, thanks. <laughs> Doesn't look like the challenger's paying any heed to that right mm -hmm. there. I'm <laughs> kidding. But, uh... Hey, if it is his name called out come verdict time, I'm sure we'll see an ear-to-ear -ear <laughs> from the man there. Yeah. <laughs> and cutting up that tile fish. Now here's the Iron Chef, the udon mm -hmm. noodles, right? Yeah, you are correct. Just yeah. now getting dumped into a deep pot of boiling water. And over by the food processor now, oh, whirring away, goes. contents being blended. Don't know what, what is in the food processor right I now. I believe it's just natto. Okay. Mm. I'm not sure. I have to check on that. Fukuzan. You got it? Yeah, in his blender, he's added natto to his famous broth of vigor. Broth oh, of vigor. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. That makes sense. Now over here's there. the challenger. Oh, foie gras. The challenger has foie gras. Broken wow. out the foie gras and cutting some healthy wow. size pieces there. Wow, you're right. Mm. But come now, why is he going with foie gras for Japanese dishes? Fukuzan. You got it? In this blender, he's added natto to his famous broth of vigor. Mm. Oh, that okay. broth of vigor. Oh, I see. <laughs> mm. All right, now here's the challenger. Ooh, look, foie gras he's over there. Broken the out the foie gras. Wow. Okay. Cutting some healthy size pieces there, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now, but come now, why is he going with foie gras for Japanese dishes? You know, that's a good question, but I'm going to dodge that one. And just if you notice, <laughs> uh, you just put some kudzu starch in there. Okay, on the Iron Chef side. Right, yeah. Oh, okay. wow, yeah, I see. So mm -hmm. that's broth, natto and starch okay, so far. Okay, natto and kudzu so starch. So this must be the confection, you know, the dessert. You know, hang on, it might not be. This could be the uh, sakizuke. Ah, uh, sakizuke? Huh? Yeah, well, it's actually a formal term for hors d'oeuvre uh -huh. in Japanese right. cooking. So this yeah. is for an appetizer much. then. Mm -hmm. So he probably added starch to make it a jelly of some sort. Oh, like yeah. a gelatin. Okay, yeah. to solidify it. Yeah, and I think he'll probably now, steam it. what's this? Uh, yuba. Ah, bean curd for wrapping. Uh, yeah, okay. for wrapping the tile mm -hmm. fish. Okay. But uh, no natto to be found here. Mm. I'm sure he'll be adding it somewhere, somewhere down okay, the line. Somehow, yeah. some way he'll have yeah. to, mm -hmm. and an elaborate way here of sprinkling some salt on. Michiba now, the processed concoction. Yeah, the natto and starch mix. It's mm -hmm. interesting. What's he up to with this? He's going to heat it up on the hot water. Well, okay, look. Wow. Yeah, right. So men I mentioned that he would steam it, right? But I think he's going to do it this All way right, instead. All right, this will do the job. Yes, yeah, go exactly. ahead. Shocking news from the challenger side. The challenger ordered one of his assistants to steam some clams, but apparently the assistant made a mistake and instead steamed the sardines that he was planning to make oh. meat fish balls out of, and now the challenger doesn't know what he's going to do. How awful. Oh. Okay, so that's what we Goodness, were watching earlier. Shame. I was wondering why he had to steam some fish. Terrible miscommunication. Mm. Wrong item steamed. Boy, that's going to hurt. Supposed yeah, to steam the clams. The assistant was supposed to steam the sardines. Maybe should have wrote that steam. down. <laughs> yeah, I feel sorry for him. Hope it's not a fatal error. And for Kuzan? Yes. Now bad news from Iron Chef Michiba's side. He seems to have cut his finger while handling some lobsters with his bare hands, and he is bleeding a little. Oh, so oh. it was My blood. Goodness, I was get a band -aid on that. Mm -hmm. yeah, I'm kidding. <laughs> now, wait a minute. I wonder if this is okay like this. I mean, he might have to add or do something to it, Yeah, right? look at that. Mm -hmm. Is that now a scratch? Are, are they going to use that? Or are they going to mm -hmm. bail? Anyway, wow. both chefs now have hit some bumps in the road. Road. The sardines steamed by mistake. M can't make meatballs out of them now. What do you do with them? Mm, I know, no yeah. kidding. How about just going for it the way it's turned out and hope for the best? <laughs> <laughs> well, in a way, it could be an opportunity, a chance for him to show how to cope with a mini disaster. Mm. We'll see if he's able to come up with the plan B for the sardines. And now, Michiba. Yeah, the Iron Chef here. I think an omelet is what okay. he's making. Natto omelet. That'll get your day started, right? <laughs> and 30 minutes gone, wow, 30 minutes to go. Fast. Gone quickly, the <laughs> yeah. first 30. Mm -hmm. And now just into the second half of a one-on-one -on -one natto battle. Yep, the natto battle. And here it comes. Here's the natto. Swinging back to this, not an omelet anymore the, in the conventional sense, but boy, we can catch a whiff mm, of it up here. In the butter, yeah. too. Smelling yeah. quite mm -hmm. good, too. 
And he's got kelp, it looks like. Challenger uh -huh. Ishikawa on top of the bean curd sheets. It's kelp, and I guess he'll, yep, mm -hmm. the tile fish yeah. on there. Yeah, that's what we thought. Oh. And uh, what about... Yeah. What's going yeah. on top? Yeah, it's going, going okay. on top, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you Just know, you don't even need me anymore. <laughs> you guys are covering for me. Line stab there. And also Fuadra. Interesting, look at well, that. He's got, wow. Oh, you're right, okay. What a pile, and Nato's going to have to get in there somehow, too. And, you know, he'll probably add some sweet and sour sauce with natto in it at the very mm -hmm. end of this, I imagine. Mm -hmm. So, a, a sauce to sort of pour over this. Exactly, yeah, a natto flavored okay, sauce. Okay, now that's something I'd have never gotten. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that, the Iron Chef Okay, is, uh, an omelet rice oh, it's going to be. So wait, it's not a real omelet. Not per se, but mm. uh, kind of a, a type of omelet. This anyway. was on the menu? Yeah, exactly. Mm. Okay, not in, uh, he's shaping it. He's putting it in a cup like okay. that to shape it, right? Uh, you, yeah. Yes, that's mm -hmm. what he could be doing mm -hmm. that for. And, mm. Now here, Ishikawa, and there's oh, the beef. Oh, look at that. That look good. That's absolutely oh, top quality. I can't wait to eat it. The marble domestic <laughs> yeah. variety. Yeah, mm. if you look at the perfect marble pattern on mm. that too, the thin lines of fat, it's just absolutely ideal. All right, now on the other side, look what Machiba's broken out. Oh, he's got uh, sea urchin roll. Sea urchin, I love Right so on top mm. there. This is what he had in mind. Okay, this is not something that you'd want to try at home. No, no. <laughs> that, that's meaning only the pro chefs try to pull something like this. Exactly, and uh, you know, in marketing terminology, He's can he can add some value to the dishes this way, and that's kind of his trademark. He's great at that. Hmm. Wow. But you know, at home you might make the omelet, but that's it. You'd right. never yeah. go this far. I mean, it looks okay for one full dinner item. <laughs> exactly. You know? But he puts the sea urchin on it. Well, it's a value incredible. enhancer, but yeah. they're free here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> really? Oh, look, the meat. Barbecuing oh. the beef mm. fixed in skewers, hand held over a gas grill, and look at that fat dissolve. Yeah, that's the first step right now. But after this, now it'll be interesting to see what kind of sauce he comes up for this, incorporating natto. Very good point. Yeah, now, it's going to be interesting. I, I bring this up because I'm kind of a stickler myself when it comes comes to steak sauce, sauce for meat, <laughs> okay. especially when you've got great beef. Really? Uh -huh. Oh, yeah. I mean, steak sauce with the natto flavor? Mm. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Soy sauce and natto sauce, he said, right? All right, now he's icing it down. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Will okay. not be served warm. It's going to be like a sashimi. Oh, right, okay. Uh -huh. With the surface grill. Right, chill uh -huh. the meat and right. then pour the sauce mm -hmm. over it. Mm. Sounds really nice. Right, but the inside will be rare. Mm. Exactly. Very yes. rare. And now they're pouring some soy sauce into the bowl. Okay, oh, you see that? Yeah. For making uh -huh, the sauce. Uh -huh. so soy sauce. Soy, and natto, right? right. Yeah. Just, just like they said, and mm -hmm. the Yuba wrapping, kelp, tile fish, foie gras, getting the steam treatment, not going to be fried. Right, exactly. He's steaming it right now. Seems in a bit of a scramble over there. Now, if we check out the Iron Chef, he's got something flowery now, here. Did you catch this one? Uh, corn starch and something else went in there, but I can't Perhaps see. natto? Uh, maybe. It could be natto. Okay, hey, I think I got it. What's that? This this might be for dessert. You sure on that? You positive about that? I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. Squeeze on. Yes. I've got that. The Iron Chef has shiratama flour here, a Japanese glutinous rice flour used for confections and natto. Rice mm. flour, okay. Oh, wow. Oh. And I say mm -hmm. that he'll fry this. Like rice crackers, you think? Mm. Oh, with sesame seeds. Yeah, okay. covered with sesame seeds. Fried oh, okay. then. Okay. Um, well, I'm not sure about the frying part. No, I say you'll fry. Trust me. Yeah, yeah well, okay. it could <laughs> definitely be, but we'll You know, have like to wait and those um, Chinese sesame seed dumplings, maybe? Exactly. Made, fried? Thanks uh -huh. for the support. <laughs> Okay, well, let's just forget that one. Uh, let's take a look at the let's take a look at the challenger. Okay. <laughs> yam. Uh, yeah, yes. Right. Uh -huh. Yam and yam ham. Potatoes. Something wrapped and slipped aside there. Mm. I think that's for frying together. Yeah. Natto and ham together. Yeah. Mm. Yam. Yeah. <laughs> so this he'll fry. <laughs> this he'll fry. Yes. Okay. Positive. Oh yeah, definitely. <laughs> All right. Now we're inside the 20-minute mark. Less than 20 minutes left in the battle. Already 20 minutes. And the chefs heard that too. They know what they've got to do. So far, both appear to be in control. No signs of clock mismanagement, although Ishikawa Sai did have that mistake earlier, and Michiba, he's been smiling a lot today. Mm, yeah, yeah, he's enjoying this, I think. In his element, crunch time in Kitchen Stadium, now over to the Challenger. All right, uh -huh. Okay, frying it. Yep. Here we okay. go. Deep fry mm -hmm. treatment. And again, yam potatoes and natto. But it hasn't mm -hmm. started off with that usual kerplunk and sizzle <laughs> which we associate with deep frying. Mm -hmm. No, the temperature seems to be a bit low, it though. It does. So he's probably planning to let the heat penetrate right to the core. What about the oil? Well, you know, if it's too low, the pieces may fall apart, so oh, it's very delicate. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. Yes. All right, now Michiba, mm -hmm. patting it to flatten mm -hmm. it. Flattening it down. With the sesame seed coating. Mm -hmm. Well, I was expecting dumplings, Well, that's what remember? you said, yeah. yeah. It almost looks like uh, mochi, like pounded rice, mm. right? Fukuzan! Yes? Yeah, I talked with the challenger a moment ago, and he confessed to me that he was very pressed for time. He was much more serious than usual when he said, I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. 
Absolutely. All right, thanks, Ota. That's par for the course, though. So often the challengers here for the first time, and they all say how the time flies, and Ishikawa finally working with the clams there. Yeah, you remember he wrote down something like, what was it, clams stuffed with something. Yes. So I think he'll stuff these with natto. Inside these? Oh. Uh, stuffing oh. these little clams? Mm. I, I believe so. I think that's mm. a possibility anyway. I think you're right. Look, just watch, see what he's doing there? Okay, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, yeah, right. look oh, at that. there we go. Mm. Yes, right. you it. got it. Wow, <laughs> right. yep. <laughs> Another good call right on top of that one, Dr. Hattori. Stuffing these little clams? That's definitely a possibility, yeah. Oh, I think you're right. See, look at that. Okay, yeah. Yep, mm -hmm. Okay, sure that thinks so. Uh -huh. Called it, okay. <laughs> Doc, you got it. Yeah, I did. Another good t call right on top of that, Dr. Hattori. Now, you'll notice the Iron Chef has fried that piece that he had there. Mm -hmm. Yes. So that's uh, Tanaka-san called mm -hmm. it. Mm-hmm, bullseye fried. <laughs> Kui-san fried. Well, I was half <laughs> Not right. Not as a dumpling, you know. It's almost like a rice cracker. Uh -huh. Natto senbei. Exactly. Very interesting. And you can see the difference mm -hmm. in the deep frying. Michiba's mm -hmm. senbei, and now Ishikawa with his clams there. Okay. Oh, look at that. That would be this the, is the stuffed one. The stuffed ones, yeah. Stuffed with natto. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, now if we can move over to the Iron Chef side here. All right, there it is. There he's rolling up the natto with yuba. Okay, he'll have a yuba wrap roll of his own. <laughs> so the next step in this would be to fry it, perhaps? Oh, uh, fry it. Hmm. It hmm. looks like it's for frying. Yeah, could be. But aren't they a, a bit too small there? I, I know what you're saying, yeah. They are looking a little yeah, tiny well, there. Yeah, a mm -hmm. wee bit small. <laughs> and now on the challenger side, and speaking of the yuba wrapping, there is his spoke earlier that he would have a sauce for that? Yes, uh, he will. Okay, and he'd somehow have to have natto in the sauce or dipping sauce. Is this it? Uh, well, isn't this usually served with grated daikon radish? Oh, uh, right, the hmm. grated daikon. Mm -hmm. I'm not 100% sure, I but was it, I mean, it certainly yeah. looks good with it. Mm -hmm. So this to go with the yuba rolls, Ten perhaps? Sauce. Yeah, Ready? it could be the sauce. Yeah. All right, 10 minutes left now. Ooh. Challenger is really getting into the sauces with this theme. Both chefs wrote out their menus at the beginning of the battle. Both had five dishes. Michiba with his mini full course of natto themed dishes but Ishikawa might have to ditch one dish here. Now the Iron Chef is about to finish up with his flatfish. Okay, flatfish there with some scallions that have been added. Mm -hmm, right. And now what's he doing? Oh, okay, I see. Uh -huh, that's going to go inside. All right, that's why they were made small uh -huh. size. Yeah, he needs to do that to prevent the ingredients from dropping. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. And look how he's rolling that up. Oh, isn't that interesting? Mm, yeah. Wow. Pretty well, that's too, a lot of talent. <laughs> Not easy to do. Okay, now back with Ishikawa, and here's the beef again. Mm, it's oh, looking so good. That does, Slicing that, that up. <laughs> uh, tataki style sashimi. Yes. Nice appetizing slices of tataki, sashimi style beef on its own. The beef very mouth watering, but I'm still waiting to find out what he's going to have exactly <laughs> in the accompanying sauce, which will have natto in it. Now, Michiba. With oh, the one he made in the early going yeah, here. Yeah, the uh, kudzu starch. Kudzu starch oh, right. and natto. Right, yeah. And broth, don't forget, mixed in. Yeah, you know, I might try this one myself. It's broth, natto, and kudzu starch, and that's it, right? Mm, Sounds so simple clean. enough. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And he is cutting that up. And now, back to Ishikawa. Might this be the sauce for the beef? I think you're right, yeah. All right, and something is being added to it right mm. there. Not yeah, though. It has to be something added to that. Could <laughs> be that sticky. Not, not just regular soy sauce. <laughs> not those soy sauce. How's that? Okay. <laughs> now here, here it is again. So the this is the one with the, the daikon, right? Right. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. And he did pour a sweet and sour sauce over it, right? Right. That's over the yuba roll. And okay. now what's happening with Michiba? Uh, well, we were saying he'd steam it, but I think we're wrong. Mm, just as is. It's yeah, good. it's an as is right. item. All right. <laughs> but the visual appeal of that, wow. Yeah, mm. you can learn so much okay. just by watching these guys. They're, they're just such professionals at this. Ditto that for me. Anytime we see Michiba in action here, we're sure to learn something new, a thing or two about our own native cuisine. And that one that he's got, his uh, right there, the umi topped natto omelet rice. There's so much going on with his dishes, it's, some, it's sometimes hard just to describe them at times. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I know what you're saying on that one. And now here's his confection. Oh, the dessert. And it is done putting that one down. Oh, I see now. And it'll have a natto flavor to it. And you know, he's even got it shaped perfectly, you know? All right, three minutes left. The challenger's a maestro of Japanese cuisine, but he's never been in this position before. Can he complete all his cooking in the remaining time? Michiba himself on the other side, a maestro in the same 20,000 strong group. All the member chefs across the country watching this, watching to see which man, which maestro can maneuver through the sticky wicket of natto to victory.
Now, this is the Iron Chef side, right? Right, right. What is he doing? Uh, he's only got a few minutes. Oh, okay, I know. I what? Know. Uh, it's the sauce for the handmade udon noodles oh, that we saw earlier. Oh, that's it. Okay, a dip in sauce for miso? the noodles. Miso and natto for the dip. And mm. a noodle dip mixed in. A dip for cold noodles. Exactly. All right. right. And now the challenger with the finishing touches, plating work, very stoic. The demeanor today hasn't cracked a smile at all. The expression reminds one of a samurai character from an earlier era. Now, is he finished with all his dishes? D does he have five? From the shot we got, he couldn't quite make that out. One minute to go. And now down to a minute to go, the final 60 seconds. Natto the theme, there's the Iron Chef's uni topped omelet with lobster to garnish. The challenger, Ishikawa, regarded as Michiba's equal in the association. Mm -hmm. The appetizer Okay. There. Yep. That's mm -hmm. the kudzu and natto. Natto mm, flavored gelatin. Like. Yeah. Have to wait and see what you and the other tasters <laughs> say about it. At any rate, what a battle today. And if I can uh, mention one last thing here. Yes. Uh, just what happened to those sardines yeah, that the challenger had? I haven't seen a sardine ones. dish over there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe he dropped it. Yes, go ahead. Yeah, the sardines that you're talking about, he said he tried to salvage that dish in some shape or form, but unfortunately did not succeed and had to give up on it. Plan B oh, failing. He'll have to make do with one less dish and hope for the best. That mistake ending up to be a costly one. Now the Iron Chef's cold udon noodles, getting those out and down into the bowls. Challenge aside, more unloading a thin sauce there. On one level, it might be a battle of sauces with natto, a very rich and creamy sauce for Michiba's noodles. Maestro versus Maestro, the final seconds, and that's it. The Nato battle is over! You had some setbacks during that 60 minutes. How do you feel? Mm, I wanted some more time, really. I didn't know it would go this fast. I think we made some mistakes at first, um, failed on some dishes, actually. But I think we did our best, given the conditions here today. How did your dishes turn out? Well, let's see, uh, 80, 85 percent? Can you win with 85 yeah. percent? Mm, well, we'll have to see. That's a matter of luck, I think. Luck? Yes. Challenger Ishikawa is offering four dishes, having to drop one. First, steamed clams stuffed with natto. The texture combination is the key to this appetizer. Japanese beef with natto soy sauce. The flavor of soy sauce has been condensed here by adding the essence of natto. Fried natto and beefsteak leaves. He removed the sticky threads of the bean, wrapped them in beefsteak leaves, and fried them in a yam potato batter, creating a nice texture contrast. Last, tilefish and foie gras in yuba with sweet and sour sauce. The sauce contains natto. Mishappened all, he says his course reached only 70% of its potential. Iron Chef Michiba is offering all five dishes from his menu. First, a refreshing appetizer, natto in kudzu starch, with a touch of natto flavor in the starch jelly. Second, natto rolled in flatfish, a second appetizer perfectly matching soy and wasabi. Simple, yet a profound statement. Natto omelet using lobster to garnish. After making the omelet, he topped it with sea urchin roe and then steamed the whole thing. Udon noodles with natto miso, cold noodles perfect for summer, rising to Iron Chef standard. His creativity is on display in the rich natto flavored sauce. Last for dessert, fried sesame seeds and natto biscuit. He blended natto into the rice flour dough and deep fried the sesame seed coated biscuits. Maestro of cuisine, the highest honor that can be bestowed on a Japanese chef. A rare distinction belonging only to those chefs recognized for their excellence over a 30-year span, including today's challenger, Kuniyuki Ishikawa. An all-maestro clash coming, Ishikawa taking on Iron Chef Japanese Roksaburo Michiba. Chairman Kaga unveiling the theme ingredient, so uniquely a Japanese food, so perfect for this battle, it is natto. Taciturn and stern, the challenger delivers four dishes, having to dispose of a fifth. Game plan followed to precision, the Iron Chef finishes with a fivesome. And now the moment of truth, tasting and judgment. On the panel today for the Nato battle are novelist Tamio Kageyama, actress Ritsuko Tanaka, and Rosan Jean scholar Masaaki Hirano. First, the dishes of challenger Ishikawa. First, I thought about the connection of natto and the other ingredients. In other words, I tried to take advantage of the aroma and the flavor of natto and the dishes that I wanted to create here today. I was thinking this would be overpowering, but it isn't. It's refreshing and very good for summer. 
You serve this in a very nice glass. I just thought this would have been perfect if this had been chilled. Uh, yes, sir. Just as you say, I had that in mind, but I'm sorry. I just kind of ran out of time here. Mmm, this is very nice. Such a sensitive approach. Mm, you covered up the natto visually, yet it truly works to reveal itself even when eaten with top quality Japanese beef if you use it like this. It has natto in the center. Mmm, good. Ah, mm. this is interesting. Ah. As you are chewing it, first the yam potato flavor fills my mouth, and then natto <laughs> appears from the background. Very interesting. By frying the natto, it is heightened to something noble. This, you know, is very well controlled in volume. And I'm very impressed with the texture and the flavor. This is not sticky either. And the sauce for this is a masterpiece. <laughs> Thank you. So nice. I'm really enjoying the aroma. It's good. I understand this way of using natto, but the combination is not as effective as you may have planned. Tile fish and foie gras don't seem to match so well. And now up the dishes of Iron Chef Michiba. Ah, oh, interesting <laughs> texture. Mm. It's sticky, more chewy than kudzu jelly. Yes, fun to eat. Mm. New discovery, I think. I chew it, and as I swallow it, it, it kind of expands. <laughs> yes, the flavor of the natto comes out. <laughs> natto wins. <laughs> you have taken good advantage of all ingredients. It's wrapped in yuba. Yes, uh-huh. Good choice. Yeah. I was wondering what it was. Softens you know? the flavor. Without bean curd wrapping, it would have been overpowering. Hmm. Natto, you can't pick it up with chopsticks. Yes, yes. Difficult mm -hmm. to eat. That's what I thought about. That is so good. So mm. this one has just a little bit too much natto. Oh, really? <laughs> but it's luxurious dish with the sea urchin roe. Mm. Really, absolutely. It's unusual to use natto like this, but uh, quite good. He has combined various cooking techniques I mean foreign techniques the only pure Japanese style is the way of using the lobster is it good mm. this miso is also unique Miso is also made from soybeans yes soybeans working hand in hand making it a superb miso dip you could have included some citrus juice in this. That would have been best. Miso plus natto is too boring. I wanted some kind of stimulating element. Oh. Mm. Hmm. This is a great confection. And the sesame seeds are so aromatic. And natto... I'm always impressed with the volume of ingredients. Just the right amount, you know. I'm en enjoying this a lot. Mounds of natto, but this verdict will matter more than just a hill of beans. Show up. ご年に発足以来和食の追求を重ねてきた日本料理研究会。今日のお二人の作品はその64年に及ぶ追求の集大成だと言えると思います。まさに究極という言葉にふさわしい味であったと思います。しかし。Today in Kitchen Stadium, the battle was one that had us exploring the very depths of Japanese cuisine with Maestro vs. Maestro. Challenger Ishikawa, Iron Chef Michiba. One man shuns the spotlight, the other revels in it. Two master chefs, two distinct characters, 
But only one can avoid the sour taste of defeat. So who takes it? Whose cuisine reigns supreme? It's the Iron Chef, Michiba, vanquishing his fellow maestro, Ishikawa, going down to defeat the sweet nectar of victory. Michiba's to enjoy today, and he looks like he is enjoying it. But there, a slight smile creases the face of Ishikawa. Yet it is the Iron Chef who's the natto king today, Roksaburo Michiba.